Welcome back friends. In this video, we will understand S3 bucket policy using hands-on. That being said, let's go ahead and create a bucket policy so that we can access this underscore logo.png object. So right now, if I click on this and if I copy this object URL and if I open a new browser window, you see that I get an access denied message, right? So what is happening? The reason is that on this bucket, if I click on permission right now, the this bucket policy is not allow public access to any object, right? So you see that it says block all public access means any object which is inside this bucket cannot be publicly viewed, right? So what can we do? So very first thing is that I will click on edit here and I will allow, I will uncheck this box and save changes that will make that bucket public bucket. But if you notice here, one thing is that there is a message coming that says that asking for confirmation. The reason is that this is a dangerous action. Imagine that if you have an organization, if you're working in an organization, and if you make some bucket public, and imagine that if that bucket has some very critical sensitive information, right? So that is very dangerous, right? So whenever you make a bucket public, you have to think through and whether really it makes sense to make this public, this bucket public or not, right? So that's the reason it's giving message. Updating the bucket block public access setting for this bucket will affect this bucket and all objects within and means. If you have subdirectories and if you have directories and under directory, if you have any objects, all those everything will be get affected because this, this will take out the bucket blocking public access option, right? So this may result in some objects becoming public. So for me, it's okay because I have just one image that I would want to display to anyone. So it's okay. Right? So, so I said, okay. I said, enter. Confirm. Let me hit confirm here. So this is one part. So I made this public, I made this bucket public. Now second thing is that about bucket policy, right? So let's click here. And we have two options, two ways to create bucket policy. Number one is that I can click here on policy example. And there are different bucket policy concrete examples. If you go here, there are many examples. So depending on your use case, you can just copy here and paste there in the bucket policy. And the one that is very handy is the policy generator. So I will use this one. Select policy type. It is S3 bucket policy effect allow. And principal star. I want anyone to access this image or access anyone in my bucket for that matter. AWS service S3 action. I want only, I'm looking for only get object action so that people can read it, which is a get object. This one get object, right? And for ARN, I... I can copy this. I'm back here where I was. So I copied bucket here. So this is only, but I have to also add slash and star because I want all objects inside my bucket to be viewable. And then I click on add statement and then I will generate policy. And now you see, you see this telling that action get action is get object effect allow. And this is the resource means all objects within this bucket. And anyone can access this, right? So. Principle is a star, so I can copy this. I will paste here and let's save it. Right, so that will make the bucket public and also the bucket policy, which is get object action on this bucket, right? Any object within this bucket and principle start means anyone. So with this, If I come here to a bucket, and now if I click here, and if 
I copy this object URL and let me close these guys. We access this URL. See, I can see this object. Earlier I was not able to because the reason is that this bucket was not public, right? So as you can see now we can access this object because now I made this bucket public and also I added the bucket policy. So what we learned in this lecture, actually, we learned we, we got an overview of bucket policies and we also looked into S3 policy generator, right? So I hope you liked this lecture and I will see you in the next lecture.